day I had a couple of questions people asked. Uh, I was looking for a part number for the straight axe handle for uh, from Bowman. So I dug around and I found my slips. Okay. He's <laughs> laying in the dirt. Okay, the double bit axe, you know, the regular straight double bit axe one is 00115, the 36 inch. Okay. The straight handle, regular single bit axe, 00113. Again, 36 inch. And they fit just perfectly in a regular axe, you know, that's the right size. And for the regular curved single bed axe blade, it's 00107. Those are the Bowman numbers. And another question somebody had was, <laughs> why use kerosene in this instead of water? Well, okay. <laughs> You know, water would work, but, okay, the thing is, stones like this, they're permeable, water will soak into them, you know, they're porous. You get water into them, and if it gets below freezing, you can break the rock, you know, the stone will break. And here's a perfect example. This is a, a whetstone for an axe, you know, the puck type one. It got wet, and just punched it like that. You know, just frozen broke. Uh, there's even a piece underneath here that's spalling up. You know, it's, they soak up water. And as soon as it gets below freezing, it's just the nature of rock and water. But kerosene won't freeze, and it'll do the job of, of lubricating it and keeping the stone from clogging. That's why kerosene, uh, you know, that's, they make that honing oil, but it would cost you a fortune if you're using that, you know, because that's expensive and little things. But kerosene is or just a, a light oil. It's, it's a lubricant. It's just a really light lubricant. So it'll do the job without endangering the stone because I would hate to have this freeze and break off of a chunk of it. You know, this was a little bit of a surprise because you, you wouldn't have thought it would soak up that much water, but that's what did it. It just froze and broke. <laughs>